Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Wings of Glass. Um, I'm hurt. Bad. Whoop. Let's go and get that fixed. I ran away from fi oh. Magdroll Factory certainly isn't quite what it used to be. Though I am confidential I can get it back on its feet with a bit of help. That Niffin Salty has two decades of experience in these kinds of factories. She's a hard worker with more than enough skill and experience to help bring this place back to life. I hope that to be the case for both the quality of product and motivation of the workers. Chief Connick. Are there any... Hello? Magdraw Factory. Okay. Thanks for reaching out to me. I'm just wrapping things up at my current occupation. In just a little time, I'll be more than ready to offer my help at Magdwell Factory. There's another person you may be interested in bringing on board. Her name is Illa. I'm sure you've heard of her. I think that her skills would be of great would be great for your factory. Oh, that was risky. Yes, I remember when looking up Salty that she's worked with Illa before and that they work well together. From the picture, Illa certainly looks perceptive and quite professional. There's currently no secretary and Illa could help a lot. Friends working in agreement can achieve quite a far fair bit. Reminds me of someone from long ago. Ooh, don't step on that. Maybe I do need to. I do need to. There we go. It hurt me, but at least it's not like Legend of Zelda where every, like, it's actually it is a little bit more like Legend of Zelda where it's like every hit doesn't always take like a full heart or half a heart. It can take a quarter of a heart. Hmm. Whoops. Sorry for breaking your equipment. Okay. Order Magnedra or prepare workspace for Salty. Repair gate facing Nevergreen Woods. Write letter inviting one Ila. Okay. Hmm. I'm taking this with me. I've received a letter from Chief Connick regarding being recruited to work in the factory. She explained to me that she's been intending to ask for my aid, even without your recommendation. I will not deny that I'm fairly excited at the prospect of working there. I will be there as soon as this year is over. Oh, I can't run anymore. Oh. Whoa. Oh, okay. that. Oh, now all I have is a pot, huh? Whatever. Yeah, it'll be fun, I'm sure. But don't make the same mistake I did. When I showed up, I wasn't aware that Chief Connick would greet me herself. Totally thought she was just a worker. Almost made a bad impression, but didn't. Just so you know, she's the blue-eyed demon. Blue-eyed demon? Hmm. That sounded important. Is that... Oh, those are spiders. Uh. Oh, it's... oh, it's on my leg. What do I do with it? Hey, there's an opening up there. Wait, what does a spider do? Oh! Wall jumps. Cool.
Looks like I don't need this pot anymore. Kind of feeling like trash a bit, what with my last project totally falling apart. I know I'm not supposed to dwell on these things, but it's a bit hard after having dumped months and months of my time into it only to see it go up in flames. But I can only express my frustration to you. People don't need to know. It's not really important. Just disappointing to me specifically. Better just look forward. The workers here seem to have pretty good attitudes. And Chief Connick is rather easy to work with. Well, that poor little pot. Um, whoa. Okay, there's spider webs down there. I'm going down. I hope that you're enjoying your new workspace with the coming of the new year. I'm confident that you and Eli are just what Magdrol needed to optimize production. Magnedro platforms and Magnedro wands have a lot of application, and I expect we'll be needing, getting plenty of orders. Please do your best. Is that what that wand was? That, uh, little fire gem thing? Was that a Magnedro wand? That made sense. Okay. Okay, there's another spider up there. But, uh... Aha! Me a brainstorm! Yeah. It would appear there's a fairly good foundation so far. I have heard from one of the workers that this factory has been only fully operational relatively recently. Although it has been something that Chief Connick has been wanting to do for over half a decade. A good foundation for sure, yet I cannot help but feel that it's up to me to tidy up a few things. I can make these types of issues less so and more effective. Bloop! 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 I am destructive. And yet I slide down with grace. Oh, that wasn't there before. Really? Just... Get up there. The, really? Oh, come on. Okay. I saw another spider over there. I still have one spider on my leg. So, bah! Okay, now I have two spiders. Da, 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 da. What the hell? What? I don't know how to react to that, really. Whoa! Oh, a temporary air walk, huh? Okay. Agenda. Boiler room lights have been broken. Replaced. Explain to Salty the new direction and tell Salty to explain new direction to other workers. Check the new? Oh no. More. This is harder than it looks. Okay, okay. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Boop. Boop. Uh. Woo. -hoo. Leave me alone! Telemarketers! Hmm. To answer your question, yes, I think it'd be lots of fun to paint a mural at the rocky side of the factory. I'd also like the idea of trying to represent the tale of Comet the Returner. Though it does sound like it could be a bit of a challenge to me. I will ask Chief about the idea of the mural, though I'll keep the subject of our little secret. Hey. 
I love spider. another one. Okay, I see what it does. When I have both of them, it weighs me down completely in the water. It says, I cannot send off the third or fourth batches of magnetro platforms from yesterday. Evidently, something went wrong with the underwater machine, and all the noted items were are defective as a result. As for your mural, when you are off the clock, feel free. You know, good thing I don't have to worry about breathing underwater. Ow! Oh, crap. Come on. Really? The water effects are driving me a bit batty. Okay. I gotta wait for that to get closer to me. <laughs> Holy crap. Risky. to report that the underwater machine has been fully repaired. I have figured out what the cause of the problem is. I'm working on theoretical solutions to ensure that this episode will not repeat for the underwater machine. Thank you for taking the time to read. No prob- what the- Okay. No problem. Boop. Squeeze through. Happy that I'll be able to spend my time off the clock doing something fun. Kind of curious of what Chief Conic will say when she notices that I'm painting Comet the Returner. I'm going to have to do some brainstorming before I decide how to go about it. I think things will go well. Even if we messed up one of the batches, I've been noticing more dancing spiders around. Probably a good sign. Dancing spiders. Whoa! Oh. Ow! Jeez! God, that hurt. Comet the Returner has always been a favorite character of mine. The virtuous Delta Foot hero that was always there to return all that was stolen to their rightful owners. She was the legendary sniper with her azure beams and cobalt eyes. She would never miss her mark. Salty, are you familiar with the story of Comet and Mantis? Mantis the glass wing, that is? Mantis. I don't see anything over there. So I'll go over here. New dancing spiders keep appearing in Magdral. Perhaps I ought to look for a spider doctor just in case any of the spiders get hurt. Then again, I've been feeling that Chief Connick keeps is telling me in Salty less and less about whatever it is she actually wants to accomplish. Regardless, it would be unprofessional to not ask her first. Hmm. Personally, I don't like spiders. They creep me out.
I wonder if Chief is also a fan of Comet. I mean, they are both Delta Foot demons. I'll be honest, I don't know how the whole story... So, no. I don't remember Mantis. That must have happened later in the story. Were they friends? Lovers? If I had more free time, I'd go read up. Can you give me the short version? Spoilers allowed. Oh. Oh, that looks sketchy. Ah! <laughs> Several dancing spiders have been appearing in the factory. I would like to request permission to contact a reliable spider doctor in the event of an arachnid emergency. With their help, we have been able to lighten the load of some of the more sensitive areas. Personally, I really don't like spiders. But since they're helping me in this game... Woohoo! I'm fine with them. Okay. Um... Nope. Wrong way. Let's go back where that gear was. I'm a bit curious about this novice. Fractal technically meets all the requirements, and she seemed quite forward about working at Magdral. However, she also seemed to come out of nowhere. I'll have her train a bit first, though, just to be safe. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, back up. Get that spider! Woo! Okay, now I have both spiders on my legs, so I can walk on the air for a bit. That's good. Alright. Ah! Yeah, they would not put a tool up here unless I need it. Perfect. Please go ahead and establish a connection with a good spider doctor. Things are looking up. Business as well. If there's anything you require, let me know. Sure. I guess. Bloop. 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 What the hell was that? What the... Who did this? I've been helping teach Fractal, the rookie, about the factory. Personally, I don't think this is proper use of my time. Sure, it's not difficult, but it's not interesting or fulfilling. Nothing personal against Fractal, but I really feel like I should be repairing the lights in the water tank. I'm pretty good with watery situations. I like to get my tail and fins wet. Hmm. Oh, nothing in here. Something was here. Something broke down that weird barricade and stomped away. I don't know what that was, but I don't like it. Ask Ela to redo her work from the yesterday. What? Write letter to M. I appreciate the work you put in last week. However, I'm afraid it doesn't line up with the direction I want to go with Magdral. Please do not worry. I will correct the course. Can someone put a sign or something where I need to go? You think that they were lovers? I have not thought to interpret the story that way. No, Mantis had a friend who was trapped in a dark cave. Someone stole her friend's orbital candles, likely family heirlooms. Her friend could see the light through the mouth of the cave, but could not see how to climb out. Mantis wanted to fix things before sundown, so she contacted Comet. After investigating, they learned who the thief was. Mantis tracked them down to try to talk it out, but the thief denied involvement and immediately ran with great haste. Orbital candles. Mantis signaled Comet with a raised open hand to issue a warning shot. Comet aimed, 
took her shot and knocked down a row of trees ahead of the thief instantly. The thief froze as Vances coolly warned, return them or just try running. But the thief resumed scampering. Again, Mantis signaled Comet, now raising a closed fist. She readied her arm to immobilize the thief, her perfect aim and control marked directly at the ground the thief was standing on. The impact of the shot shattered the dirt floor, launching the thief tumbling over. Comet walked in and, like always, returned what belonged safely. Show, ask Salty to show the novice how to work. Ask Ela to count the spiders and watch them. Empty out the water from the submerged area. Write letter two. Conic, huh? Conic sounds a lot like Comet, don't you think? That's just me, but I think that sounds a little close. I wasn't asked to, but I thought it'd be smoother if I changed out the water in the tanks. Though when I did, I noticed there were a number of damaged structures, including light fixtures. You know, I'm pretty good at aquatic repair. I'd like to temporarily hand my normal duties to someone else if you'll let me flex my strong points briefly. If I see an upwards ramp, I'm going away immediately. Uh, mm, nothing. You do that on your own just because you wanted to? I'm sorry that I haven't been more aware of tasks which you are being, you've been hoping to get assigned. Go ahead, but please do inform someone to take up your normal duties while you repair the submerged areas. I've included a bonus in this message for your dedication. Hmm. There are a lot of messages. Thank you for having that conversation with me at the roof. I really didn't understand what you meant by orbital candles. Pretty neat that they never go out. So Mantis's friend had a red one and a blue one, huh? Wait, you mean like... Like, uh... Ferris? Wonder why someone would need two candles. My guess is that her friend was just that terrified of the dark. P.S. Could you help Fractal for me? P.P.S. Is it weird most of our employees are twin toes? Twintos. Recently I had an argument with the chief. I may have seen something I was not meant to. I feel bad for asking Ela to take care of Fractal. Looks like she's been having disagreements with Chief. I'm still not convinced that Comet and Mantis weren't lovers, even after reading through it myself. Though I get the sense that Mantis was a bit of a big sister to her friend in a cave. Oh. Well, I mean, there is sometimes that friendship bond that's more like a familial... Hmm. Nope. It's more like a familial bond than it is a friendship bond, so... Sorry y'all been fighting. Can I ask what you saw? That is a good question. What did you see? What did you see, Salty? That thing is still in here, and I'm only armed with a little axe. In her trash can, Chief Connick had several unfinished letters addressed to someone by the name of Mantaday. While she had her attention elsewhere, I took one of these letters. Included is one of the letters she never sent. Please destroy it after reading. Nope. So you're telling me that Mantaday is the same person as Mantis from the story? Hmm? Hmm. So I wasn't crazy. Conic does sound a lot like Comic. Er, not Comic. Comet and Mantis is a bit close to Mantaday, so... Hmm. Correct. More importantly, our boss, Chief Conic, and Comic the Returner are actually the same person. Interesting. I'm not going down that way. I am going down that way. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay, this is a long hallway. <laughs> Why? Who did that? Ugh. Friggin' hurt. Ah. Oh, whoops. Ah! Hello, spider. Come with me. I broke my flower pot, but that's okay. Oh, whoops. Alright, that spider is off my leg now. I guess we need to go up. She keeps looking upwards, so... <sighs> Alright, this way. Alright. Now where? Um, up again? Yeah. Then down. Another spider. Come here, you. All right. All right, now where do I go? I guess I can go straight up. All right. Across. Cross. Ah. I knew I would need something. Normally game mechanics don't just give you a straight up doorway you can go through. There's usually something that you need. There was this doorway over here and I was like, hmm, there's no way it's just going to be that easy. Okay, the spiders have left me. Like we're going down. More of those weird rocks. That means that uh, the blue eyed demon is here. Comet. Alright, there's a pole I have to balance on. Two poles, but this is in my way. Electrified. Hello. Hello. 
Another... What the hell? Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I don't know why they're falling from the sky like that, but that's pretty alarming. Wow! Oh! I saw the eyes. Get back here. Give me this pot. Bro! Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a wing of glass right there. Uh-huh. There's another one over there. Let's go this way. Look around down here. So far, so good. Spiders. I'm gonna need both of them. Ah, oh, too low to reach that one. That's fine. All right. Okay. So I do need the uh, wall walking ability. Or air walk, I guess you could call it. Woohoo! All right, now I have to get the other one. The other one's higher up. There he is. Yeah, over there. He's a little bit high up. Got it. Alright. Home free. That wasn't so hard. Alright, now I can just... Alright, I see. There. Looks like I won't be able to do much from here for now, so I'll go ahead and leave. Okay, it looks like the spider with the wing has moved up. Yeah, there's the other wing. It's on a platform. It looks like it can't quite reach yet, so... Oh. So we'll uh, go this way now. Nice parkour. Mayfly is pretty athletic. Alright, there's a spider here. There should be another spider nearby. If what I'm thinking is right. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now I am officially immobile. Whoa! Alright. Break these.
All right. Okay. All right. I think I've got the hang of how this works. I wish I can get them off my legs. All right, now we do the same thing again. There we go. Now that spider that was in that tube should be free, I think. No need to go all the way down. It's just... Let's me out! Thank you! Oh, God. Such intense focus, and then... <laughs> Alright, stay on this spoke here. And we go forward. Okay. There we go. That was a pain in my tuchus. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, I think I got this. I think that was all of them. Indeed it was. Okay. Now I think I just need to go up to a high level to where the spider could have gone. Probably the friggin' roof. No, my luck. This game's all about the parkour. Uh, yeah, the spider went to the roof. That's fine. Fine by me. I'll go to the roof. All right. Uh huh. All right. Um. Okay. We'll go this way. Ow! There we go. All right. Um. I think the spider's over there. Bingo! Give me my wing, please. Spin glide, dash, and long jump. Cool. Now let's go and get that other wing. Oh, no. Someone took my other wing. That's fun. Okay. I need this. Woo! -hoo! 
I'm home free! Alright. Pull that down. Okay, okay. Woohoo! Come on. Pull. Pull. Alright, that should be it. Man, if I was doing that all day, whew, I'd be dizzy. Alright. Uh, high ground. I need to get some high ground so I can get up there. So, over here we go. Oh, thanks for squishing my head. Much appreciated. Oh, wait a minute. Perfect. This works. All right. All right. Oh. Spin and drop. Okay, now let's go back. Oh, ah! Do I have the spider? I do. Oh, I made it. Okie dokie. Jump. Come here, my beautiful. Alright. Sure! Which one looks closer? Uh oh. <laughs> I knew that was bad. I knew that was bad. Alright. Alright. Jump, 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 jump. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. Uh, magnet. 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 Alright, yeah, I don't have the spider on me this time, so... Oh, fart. I'll just, uh, yeah. Bow! I'm fine. Okay. Oh. Get close to the edge. Magnet. Is there another one over there? I don't know. Yeah, there's another one over there. Magnet. Okay, uh, looks like there's another note down there. Got it. I hope that things have been going well for you. Are you still taking care of that camaraderie? on? I remember returning those precious candles so vividly. I'd like to show you all that I've done in Magdraw Factory someday. Yours truly, Comet. Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Ugh. None. 
one shall stop my spins. Oh, down we go. Ominous. Hmm. There's a lot of platforms here. Why are there so many platforms? Oh, jeez. That's not good. Get close, get close, get close. Get closer. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! You got my wing. Let go! It's my wing. Nope. Oh! Okay, we got a spider. Uh. Run away! Ah! Kick my booty! Kentucky Fried Butt Kicking, holy crap! I only have one shot left. Ah! Holy crap! <laughs> I got out of there? Oh! The game's over? That's a big flipping system. Shh. So that's the end of the game? Wow. I've got to say I'm thoroughly in glass. I really wish there was more content though, like holy crap. I'll see you all next time on Wings of Glass when uh, episode 3 comes out. Because holy crap. That thing, Comet, holy crap, kicked my butt.